speaker wires. Just got to put the coaxial speaker in now. What the? Oh no! So done, let it go, Let's put the door card back on. Both of the back doors are done, just gotta put this door card back on. Front left is done, front right isn't done, that's where we're at. Oh we need to check all the windows and work and stuff. Before we yeah, it's all good. Yeah, they don't they don't have a folly. Okay, um, I'll put it all the way up then. Just so you know, Thursday night when I go home from work, because she was organising the dinners for the week, yeah. I said don't worry about dinner Thursday night, um, I'm going to be cooking for myself. Well, the good news is the car still works and goes and everything like that, because these late model cars are temperamental. And there we go. So, yes, so we haven't got the front right one done really at all. Um, Time-wise, just underestimated how long it would take. So... She's picking it up tonight, but then bringing it back tomorrow morning so we can finish the front white one. So that's when I'll do um, like the sound check and see how everything, you know, compares up. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's the next day. The uh, CX-3 is back in for the front right uh, door and speaker and everything. Let's get into it. Just interrupt the time lapse here for a minute, just want to show you guys how I did the uh, doors in case I didn't show you close enough on the other one. So the crossover is held on with one screw at this end going into the factory screw hole. Bunch of crimps there so that the wires aren't going to come out. Wire is all wrapped up in fabric tape so it looks nice and OEM. We've got a cable tie here which has one of those uh, screw holes in it so the cable tie act like a screw goes through the cable tie and holds it into an OEM location tucked under that little bit of plastic and then pops out here right by where the window switches are because that's where my male or my female end of this is going to come out on the door. Back to the time lapse. Time to put the uh, battery on and check and make sure the right hand side goes properly and then we'll be done. And this is a, this is what we offer. Yep, both gone, way. all good. He should. He went in there and bashed them. That's all the door done. Now it's going to put this tweeter back in. There we go. That's in better. Nice. Time for some sound tests I think. And I'll clear out the car first and then we'll have a listen. Okay guys, so I'm in the uh, CX-3, everything is completed, all four doors are sound deadened completely. Flex components in the front with the tweeters on the dash, coaxial flex uh, speakers in the back. And I've just had the car 
running for about the last sort of 10 or 15 minutes with the speakers on a high-ish volume, trying to wear them in a wee bit, get, get them a wee bit warm before we do this test to see what they actually sound like. Now this is all powered straight off the factory system and I'm going to be honest straight off the bat, I don't think the factory system in this car is very good sound quality at all. So I think it's going to diminish or um, affect how good these speakers can possibly sound. So I'm going to discuss it with the customer and recommend, you know, if they want a bit more clarity or bass or something like that, uh, we'll start with an amplifier to drive them a bit harder because these are thirsty speakers and, if they, and failing that, it's going to have to be like a Rockford 360.3 DSP or something like that. But at the moment, it's just like the treble is like shh, shh, shh. It's like not, it's not subtle like I'm used to with those flex components. And I think that's due to the factory system that's in this car. And as you can see, just nothing can be changed. It's like a disc drive and USB ports down here. This screen, this is the controls for it. It's not something we can change, it's just the way it is. But, so this is on radio at the moment. I think that could be part of why it's sounding so bad. So to do an actual test, I'm going to try and pair my phone to the Bluetooth if I can find it on my phone. Because that's going to be a much better, you know, test as to good quality audio. And I might also try on auxiliary input as well, just so that we can compare the Bluetooth to the auxiliary in case there's like a, a low-end Bluetooth chip in this car or something. I'm going to try a range of different songs. Let's try to start off with a bassy, you know, electro sort of song. Let's try... Actually, let's try Party Bass, because that's a good clean song. Okay, I think I somehow got the right hand woofer out of phase. This is why we test. I'm gonna see if I can fix it. I think the right hand speaker is out of phase. Okay, so what I've managed to got uh, set up here to test my polarity. I've taken the door cut off, as you can see, and all I've done is I've put a couple of loops in going from the input to the crossover straight to the woofer wires, because they can ha that speaker can handle full range, obviously, so it's all good. And my phone is plugged into the auxiliary, and it's making it's making a positive popping sound and it's got a phase tester in it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select, oops, back, sound settings and I need to go fade it all the way to the front and balance it to the right. Left is positive, let's try right. The rear right one's coming out negative. Okay guys, I think I figured it out. Um, I had somehow wired up the front right input wires around the wrong way at the point where I connected it to the factory wiring, which I don't understand how I did, but I did, but I've fixed it. Simple fix, obviously just reverse the wires on the crossover and now everything sounds way better, at least on Bluetooth or auxiliary it does. Um, that's the other thing I did just do a test just now in Bluetooth and auxiliary exactly the same quality so no loss there so I'm just going to play it through auxiliary and show you guys what sort of thing it, what it sort of sounds like actually let's have a bit of um Definitely, definitely really good bass in here now, so that's, that's something. It's still just not very clear at the top levels, and I think it's just, I think it's just the output of the stereo, guys, there's really not much you can do to clean it up. It's just kind of scratchy, and I mean, my music is, is full high quality, and just playing through the auxiliary, it's definitely just, I think, yeah, I think it's just the, uh, the output of the stereo, it's just unfortunate, but I mean, it sounds good in here we'll see how good she thinks it sounds it'll be the it'll be the key 
I think it sounds the best with treble turned down to about minus one and bass turned up to about plus three because the tweeters are facing directly up at the windscreen and then reflecting straight back in your face and they're very prominent tweeters so I've had to turn them down a wee notch but otherwise it sounds pretty good that's like a pretty bassy song let's try to find like a oh yeah, here's a good Kiwi song the bass really comes out. Let's have a listen and see what the difference is between the front and the back. Because that's the thing I wanted to test to see if the back one sounded as good as the front. Because they are those speakers I'm thinking about getting. car this okay so this stereo system is doing all sorts of things it's like as you turn the volume up it's just it's like exponentially increasing the treble to make it seem louder it's crossing off all the speakers so that they're not producing frequencies out of their range it's intentionally only sending like the majority of the bass to the front speakers and not to the back it's like they've overcomplicated it it's over engineered which is, I mean, it's probably well designed for the factory speakers that were in here, but as soon as you want to put something like nice and hi-fi into one of these cars, the system that they've put in it becomes detrimental. I know I'm saying a lot of negative things right now, but let me uh, also clarify that th right now these speakers do sound awesome, especially for bass. The, the bass is quadrupled that was in here, with the sound editing in these woofers. How the back ones sound versus the front ones. The front ones definitely have a better sound stage, but that's because the tweeters are up higher and so you've got more uh, sound image up in front of you and at the back you can just tell they're coming from down by your feet. But um, as far as quality of the treble goes, it's yeah, like exactly the same. So I'd say like that the back speakers are just as good as the front ones, but the, given the way the front ones are laid out and set up, um, they for that reason sound better. <laughs> Definitely awesome. Sound editing has helped so much. So much. I've left the treble on minus one to kind of take down, take out that uh, screechiness that you get at the um, top end where it tries to boost the treble and because the treble, and because the tweeters are facing the windscreen it bounces back really hard. I've turned the bass up to about three out of six and that really, you know, brings the low end through. And then everything else is flat. I've, do you guys, I actually don't know what this is, I'd probably have to check the manual for the car. There's something on here called ALC and it goes from 0 to 7. Um, I'm not really sure what it is, I, like maybe it's auto level controller or audio level controller. All I know is that when I was on radio, putting up to 7 increased the clarity. But on Bluetooth or auxiliary it doesn't change a thing. So I'm not sure what that's about. Play Rockstar. I don't care if it's Nickelback, I'm gonna play it. Nickelback, shut up. Probably just lost about 10 subscribers or 100. Oh, 200. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Right, I've mucked around enough. I need to call the customer, tell her to come and get her car. It sounds good. I need to back it out. Invoice is made up. Hopefully, she likes it. I'll close this video off after she's picked it up and listened to it and paid for it uh, so I can let you guys know if she liked it or not. By the way, guys, I actually forgot to mention uh, yesterday after the lady picked up her CX3, um, I forgot to close that out. She didn't sit in it and listen to it and then, you know, tell me what she thought. So I can't really let you know what the customer thought of it. But I can tell you that I thought it sounded really, really good.
and that's saying something since I'm used to having 215s in my car. So even though, you know, it's like the next day and whatever, I'm closing out the uh, Mazda video now. So thanks for watching this video guys, hope you enjoyed it. Ask me any questions you want in the comment section below and have a good day.